Give me a second. <sighs> thank you, Mr. Commissioner, Ms. Jane Ford Clark. Today, I would like to thank the National Baseball Hall of Fame and the baseball writers for selecting me as a first ballot selection in this 2014 Hall of Fame class. I'm so humbled and honored to be a part of this historic class of first ballot Hall of Famers, to share the stage in front of all the legendary men who made the game better for us all. I'm speechless. I want to personally thank you all for being great role models and making this great game what it is today. Hard work, dedication, and commitment. No shortcuts to success. Thanks for having me in your club. I would like to thank my parents, Charlie Mae Thomas, who's here today, and the late Frank Thomas Sr. for giving me the love and support that kept me involved in team sports in a lovely town, Columbus, Georgia. I would also like to thank my parents for working so hard to instill core values, to make the best of life. We didn't have much, but my parents worked tireless for me and my four siblings. Frank Sr., I know you're watching and smiling from heaven. Without you, I know 100 percent I wouldn't be here in Cooperstown today. Thanks for pushing me and always preaching to me. You can be someone special if you really work at it. I took that to heart, Pops. Look at us today. We're a long way from Columbus, Georgia. Mom, thanks for hanging in there and believing in the same vision. I know it wasn't easy, but I thank you for all the love, motherly love and support. Raising all the love is tough, but you and Dad made sure we made it. You guys made it look easy for us, and I thank you and I love you, Mom. Thank you. I would now like to thank my beautiful wife, Megan and my five wonderful children, Sterling, Sloan, Sydney, Frankie, and Ashley Kate, for making life so unforgettable for me. I know, I know all five of you are different, and all five of you complete me day by day. That's what makes me feel so blessed. You guys are my everything. There are no words to describe how much I love you guys. I especially want to say thanks, Megan, for coming into my life 15 years ago. When we met, life was throwing me a curveball, one that I could not hit. But meeting you really put pep in my step and made me believe in love again. I thank you for teaching me the value of family first. I thank you. You took my three older, older kids in immediately as your home and changed my world forever. I know this wasn't easy, but you proved your love for me day one. I'm so blessed to be married to such a beautiful, wonderful person. You complete me. I love you, babe. I would like to thank my siblings for all the love and support. My oldest sister, Gloria, Mary, Sharon, and Michael. I can't name all my extended family and friends. I know you're here, and I love you guys. But thank you for coming. My older brother, Michael, thanks for being my best friend and for always having my back. Mike World, I can tell you everything. And you always have advice from me. Some good and some bad. But thanks for always being honest. I love you, bro. Yeah. 
and like you have infrastructure. I would like to thank my team who has kept me grounded and in touch with reality from day one. First, the late Robert Fraley. I know you're not here, my friend, but thanks for launching my career and giving me professional guidance you gave me. It's priceless. Robert, you once said to me, life is not fair. You have to work hard to earn your respect. You were so right. I thank you for being honest with me. I know you're somewhere in heaven, directing traffic, because that's what true leaders do. I'd like to thank Frank Bombstead. I thank you for becoming my father figure in my life after I lost my father. Robert Fraley introduced us, and without you, I have no clue where I would be today. I love you, man. Taryn Anderson, thank you for dealing with me on a daily basis. Keeping me straight. I appreciate everything you do, because I know it's not easy. Thank you. And Lisa Rabicki, I thank you for managing my life for 16 long years. Without you, my career could have fell off a long time ago. I thank you for keeping everyone in check. You did a wonderful job. Thank you, Lisa. Also, I'd like to thank Arn Tellman, Joel Wolf, for picking up the pieces late in my career and guiding me to new beginnings in Oakland and Toronto. I thank you guys. Now, I would like to thank the Chicago White Sox organization for drafting me into professional baseball. Special thanks to Jerry Reinsdorf, Eddie Einhorn, Larry Himes, Al Goldis, Howard Pizer, and Mike Rizzo for taking a chance on a kid from a small town with many big dreams. Jerry, thanks for a long and wonderful ride in that Chicago White Sox uniform. You did a lot for me, and you still mean a lot to me. Thank you, my friend. Also, I would like to thank all my general managers and managers along the way in Chicago. Ron Schuler, Danny Evans, Jeff Torborg, Gene Lamont, Terry Bevening, and Kenny Williams. Jerry Manuel, and a special thanks to Ozzie again. 11 years as a teammate, three years as a manager, and I can thank you for getting me my only ring because we had that special bond for many years. I thank you, Ozzie. Thank you very much. A special thanks goes out to Ken Hawk Harrison. Hawk, thanks for pinning me to Big Hurt. Your nickname for me really changed my life forever. Hawk, I'd also like to thank you for being a friend and a source of guidance all those years, on the plane, through the ups and downs, through the good and bad times. It was priceless picking your brain. Thank you, Hawk. I would like to thank the Oakland A's and the Toronto Blue Jays for believing in me as a free agent and signing me into the organization. Lou Wolf, Billy Bean, Dave Forrest, thanks for taking a chance on me twice. That 2000 season was magical. Without it, I doubt I will be speaking here today. J.P. Ricciardi, Alex Anthropoulos, I thank you and the wonderful Toronto organization for bringing me to Toronto. Hitting number 500 in that Blue Jay uniform was a dream. Thanks for taking a chance on a 39-year-old. I really appreciate that. In my career, I had so many magical moments in all three uniforms. It was a career filled with great memories of great people in all three organizations. I will always be thankful for all of you. I would like to thank all the coaches who really made me tick and put in many hours of hard work with me. You know, I forget, couldn't forget you guys. Bobby Howard, I know you're here somewhere. It started with you. You made me grow up in a hurry. Your no-nonsense approach to the game was needed at an early age. Winning was the only option. You preached that, and you made me work for it. Playing for you set my foundation for life. Love you, and I thank you. I would like to thank Pat Dye, Jay Jacobs, Hal Baird, under your guidance at Auburn University, I became a man. You guys pushed me to new heights and instilled toughness and a will to win that I really never knew existed. Coach Barrett, thanks for treating me like a pro before my time. 
I thank you, my friend. I know you couldn't make it here today, but I thank you. Coach Dye, that's the same. I know you couldn't make it either, but I really thank you for letting me play both sports. The decision changed my life. I thank you for letting me follow my dreams. Your passion for what's right led me to my career path in baseball. I thank you, Coach Dye and War Damn Eagle. And this is a tough one. I have a special love for this man, Walt Reniak, my favorite hitting coach of all time. I thank you for being honest from day one. You taught me to only want to be the best. You would always say to me, anyone can be good, Frank, but the special ones want to be great. Our work sessions were very consistent every day. It didn't matter if we were 10 for 10 or over 10. It was the same process every day. No freelancing. Consistency and dedication was what made you tick. And I'm so grateful for your tutelage. Having you first in the big leagues made it difficult for me when you left. Preparation for games wasn't the same anymore. But I can always remember you saying, keep your effing head down and finish, Frank. Thanks, Walter. Without you, I know I wouldn't be here in Cooperstown today. <laughs> Thanks to my other coaches who put in time with me. Sorry I can't ramble all day. I've been told by the, the rookie has to hurry up. Doug Manzalino, Mike Gallinger, Ron Jackson, Greg Walker, Gary Ward, Tom Pichord, Gerald Perry. Ron Washington, Ken Maka, John Gibbons, Mickey Bradley, Wallace Johnson, Dave LaRoche, Joe Nossick, Caveman Art Kushner, Mark Salas, Tommy Thompson, the late Kevin Hickey, Chet Demedio, Steve Rogers, Walt Pasternak, Alan Thomas, Clarence Cocker, and Donovan Santos. And a special thanks to my friend Jim Fanning. I know you're here somewhere, Jim. You taught me to live in the zone, on and off the field. And even today, I thank you, buddy. A heartfelt, a heartfelt thanks to all my trainers. Thanks for all the hard work getting me to the post every day. Harm Snyder, I thank you for all the overtime you put in with me, my friend. 16 years of TLC. Harmy, thanks, my man. You gave me the best professional care in and, in and out, year in and year out. I'm so appreciative of you. Mark Anderson, Brian Ball, Larry Davis, Steve Soupy Sales, Walt Horn. George Poulos, my main man, George Poulos, Dave Abraham, Scott Takao, Amy George, and Tim Soder. I thank all of you for your, for your help along the way. Just like I said, special thanks to my clubhouse managers. I know they never get any love. Clubhouse managers, PR managers, traveling secretaries, the late chicken Willie Thompson, Vinny Fresho, Gabe Morrell, Steve Vucinich, Jeff Ross, Scott Reifert, Jay Steinhaus, Glenn Rosenbaum, Mickey Morabito, Mike Shaw, I thank you all for taking care of me. You all were great at what you do. Thanks for all the love. Got a, I want to have a special thanks to all my doctors. I couldn't include all of you today. But a, a few of you, I have to say, thanks again. James Boscarton, Dr. Price, Lowell Wild Sr., and Dr. Elliot Swartz. I know El Elliot is here. Thank you for what you did for me in Oakland. You're a friend and a buddy. But I have to say one special thank you to Dr. Richard Ferkel. Yes, Dr. Ferkel is here. You repaired my navicular fracture when everyone said I was done. I was sitting at 452 home runs, and you looked at me and said, I'm going to get you back on the field. You never doubted putting me back there, and you helped me finish my career. And getting to Cooperstown, Dr. Ferkel also said, I, I never thought it would happen, but I thank you. You meant so much to me, and, and you mean more to me now today as a friend. Thank, thank you, Dr. Dr. Ferkel. You know, getting here was a reflection of my teammates. You can't win any game without teammates, and I had the best of them, over 850 of them in my time. Getting here was a, a serious reflection of their talents. I don't have all day here. I only have 10 minutes. I might be over. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm an emotional guy because I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. So I'm going to give my guys a, a verbal montage. Please bear with me. One dog, Rock, Grayback, RV, Ozzy, Joey, Pudge, Carco. 
Psycho Lines, Bo Ellis, Blackjack, The Deacon, Sugar Ray, Alex, Wilson, Beret, Roberto, Thiggy, James Baldwin, Billy Bob, Burley, Hot Rod. Thanks for the program, Hot Rod. Devo, Maglio, Carlos, Roe, Jermaine Dye, he's here today. Along with Aaron Rowan. Ivan, Phil, Paulie Creedy, Uribe, Charles Johnson, Sandy, T. Phillips, Harold, Melito, Howery, Folk, Mike Jackson, Flash, Kenny Sandy, A.J. Robbie, McElroy, Marulo, Spanky, Julio, Willie Chill, Singleton, Mouton, Davey, El Duque, Fordyce, Leifer, G. Bell, C. Everett, Danny Pasqua, D.J., McCaskill, Paul, Paul Huff, Ballington, Abbott, Dibble Rags, Cammy, Cammy Cam, John Crook, Sirocco, McGrain, Freeman, Cruder, Norton, Tartable, D. Lou, Scott Ayer, Navarro, Bradford, Castillo, Mark Johnson, Garland, Lowe, Eldred, Graffinino, Marte, Bartolo, Cotts, Glover, Luiza, Contreras, Freddie, Polite, I know it's long, I'm sorry, Jinx, Lee, B.A., Pasednik, Blanton, Kiko, Duke, Godan, Harden, Heron, Kase, the late Joe Kennedy. He left us too soon, special friend of mine. Sarlos, Houston, Zito, Kendall, Mel Hughes, Swisher, Shabby, Crosby, Ellis, DJ, Scooter Row, Milton Kilty, Jay Payton, Doc Halliday, Accardo, AJ Downsy, Frazier, Rios, Casey League, McGowan, Mark, and BJ Towers, A Hill, Vernon, Johnny Mack, Lindo, Reed, Raja, and Big Red. Yeah, it was real. You guys are my family away from home. I miss all of you. I'm glad to have known all of you. I'm sorry I couldn't name the rest of you guys. I'll probably be getting hit on the back of the head right now from the guys in the back. But I thank you, man. In closing, I would like to say thank you to the city of Chicago. You guys made the big hurt who he was in the greatest sports town in America. I know I'm biased, but I thoroughly enjoyed every moment playing for you all. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oakland and Toronto, I thank you for great fan bases, also for making me feel at home. It was short-lived, but I appreciate the love from both of your great cities. To all you kids out there, just remember one thing from today. There is no shortcuts to success. Hard work, dedication, commitment, Stay true to who you are. God bless you all, and I thank you.